Hey everyone, my name is Zenya and I am a digital artist and I love to teach Photoshop to people. So in this class, I will show you how you can use these two images to create this composite. So basically we are going to learn how to blend images on the water so it all looks like natural on the water image. We are also going to create lighting here, we're going to add all these realistic bubbles create depth in this image so it looks like a real photo and also do some dodge and burn to create darker areas here and lighter areas on top of these images so we're going to go through all the steps that you need to do to create this image by just using these two images that i have here so we don't have to spend time on cutting them out these are all png files so we can just easily create this without doing the boring stuff so if you're wondering who i am i upload a lot of work on my Instagram almost daily and this is usually from created from animals so you can find my work in Instagram maybe you have seen my work on the official Photoshop channel they also featured my work a couple of times here is one of them with a fox and another one with also the same composite like I did now this one so this is like basically the same idea as we are going to create in this class so if you want to learn how to create this just start from the beginning it's really easy i will show all the steps that you need to do to create this yourself now before i start make sure to check out my photoshop courses i will leave a discount in the description of the video and also the link to them and maybe you want to learn more in photoshop check them out there's a lot of different artworks in the courses All right, let's start off with creating a new file in Photoshop. So we're gonna start from scratch here. And this is the size I will be working in. This is usually the size I take because when I have like two times Instagram size, I can always move move the design around if I wanna make it smaller or bigger, whatever. So let's create a new file. Make sure to select RGB and not grayscale. Not sure why that was there. Create, and first thing I would like to do is to get the color right. So I have this design that I created before and I really like these color tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sample this color and use that for the background. So I'm gonna create a solid color here. So I have this really nice like navy blue and this lighter area I'm gonna also sample, maybe a bit lighter like that because colors are so important and if you have like a bad color blue it's gonna look bad so you need to make sure you start with working with the right colors so let's first take the brush i have this color here make sure to drop the hardness at zero and let's first like make this a little dot and this will be our light source from the top because we have like the sky above the sea or ocean whatever and this is where the light will come from so we need to make sure this area will be lighter so this is fine for now. I can always change that later on. It's stretched out a bit like that. All right. Now I don't need this one anymore. I can just remove that. That was just for reference. All right. Let's import our shark. Let's see. I have a shark here that I want to use. And let's flip this horizontal. Because I want to have the shark on the left side. And I want to have a diver on the right side. So this is fine. You can place it above the layer so we can blend this better and let's also add the diver and just rotate this let's see let's make this a bit there or else we don't have enough space so if you just press on the layer and press ctrl or command on mac and t you can bring up the free transform and you can rotate this and make it smaller or bigger so I need to make sure he is like facing this shark. So something like this is fine. Let's move it a bit here. Let's make this even smaller. So we see a bit of the backside of this shark. Like that. All right, now we need to blend this better together. So you can see here it looks really fake. And the first thing I would obviously do is to double click on the layer from the shark. Let's start with the shark and go to color overlay. And here we can click on the color here and sample some color from the water. So now we have the same color as the background 
inside the shark, but you can barely see it because it's on overlay and it's really low. And here I want to change this to color. Let's bring this up. You can see here that the color of the shark changes to blue. That's exactly what I want, but not at 100%, let's say around 60, 70% is fine. All right, that's it. Next thing, I'm just gonna go here and copy layer style because I'm just gonna copy the layer style and paste it in this diver so it's also blue. You can see here, it works a lot better already. All right, next thing is to give it a bit of a curve because the shark is way too light now. So let's take the highlights from the shark and drop this really low like that. Maybe also a bit from the mid-tons here, just make a point and just watch where that curves goes and bring it a bit down like that. All right, once you got this darker, it looks a bit too dark now. So I'm gonna create another curves here and this time I'm gonna increase the highlights. This way we have a bit more contrast and we still see some highlights and let's also do this one, the mid tones here, like that. This is fine for now. And we can see if I move this here up, we can also have it like this, but let's first do it like this because I wanna make sure it blends better at the first place. All right, all right, let's put these layers in one folder. So if you hold down shift and select them all and press on this folder here, it's gonna get in this folder. So this is our shark and this will be our diver or else when we get too much of these layers, it's gonna be a big mess and hard to even find something. So this was diver, all right. Next thing I would do here is to work on the lighting of this shark. We need to make this side here at the top a bit lighter because we have lighting from there and it's gonna hit these areas. So I'm gonna create a new layer for this. Press right mouse and create clipping mask. Then go to edit, fill, and fill this with 50% gray. The reason why I use 50% gray layer is because I wanna have separate layers for all these effects so I can adjust the opacity later on. All right, now select the touch tool, leave it at mid-downs around 50%, this is fine. And start brushing the top area here, because we have lighting from there, so I need to make this a bit lighter. Also this area here, let's do the whole area, top side here. Let's also do his teeth lighter. I feel, think when we do things like this, it's gonna look really cool and make this more, more scary. Also these parts, this one is sticking out, so let's give it a bit more lightness here, like that. Just a bit more extra like lighting, so the whole overall image is gonna look a lot better, so it doesn't look flat. You can see already the difference when I disable it and enable it looks a lot better. Let's also do a bit more shadow, so I'm gonna create a 50% gray layer again, and this time I'm going to do some burn. And with the burn, I can make some areas darker. So we have a bit more shadows here. Let's do highlights here and start brushing like in this area here. The top needs to be darker. We have lighting from the, uh, I mean, the bottom needs to be lighter. Sorry, the bottom needs to be darker because we have lighting from the top. So let's make this darker here. And this one needs to be dark. Can see it gets really black when you do it too much so let's switch it up to mid tones and drop the exposure here let's do a bit more here let's make this these shadow areas darker then we get all these nice details from the shadows and the highlights this side here a bit let's do a bit here this looks a lot better now and let's also do some shadows and drop this like around five percent just a bit extra, not much like that. So if you disable this, enable this, you can see we get all these nice highlights and shadows. Now we have to do the same for this diver. So I'm gonna create a clipping mask here, filled with 50% gray, and basically change it to offlane to the same. So let's start with the Dutch tool. This diver already has some highlights here, so I'm not gonna do it much, but I wanna make sure we still see some extra highlights here. For instance, on this hand here, you can see here, this hand is sticking out, so I need to make sure that one gets lighter. Also his feet here, maybe his diving gear here, this side. Also this side, 
just little parts that are sticking out. All right, that's enough. Let's see the difference. You can see here it gets a lot lighter. But it's way too light now, and I want to make sure we have some dark areas also. So let's also do some burn here. I think I forgot to the curves layer. I accidentally removed it, but whatever. Let's do some burn here. Start with highlights again, around 30-40%. And just do the bottom part. You don't need to do this really precisely, just a bit of this. This is like darker. Let's do a bit of midtones. Like that. Just the bottom part. And a bit of the shadows. Don't forget to drop the exposure when you switch it up. Like that. You can see here it looks a lot better now when we compare this. We have the lighting right now. We can work on the details. First thing I want to add here is bubbles. So to make this look more real, we can either use a brush for this or we can just use images. I like to use images because it saves me a lot of time. So I'm just going to import this photo. You can see here we have a lot of bubbles here and this is what I'm going to use. And the only thing I will do here is press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the levels, select the black one here and click on the water. So we're making this black, press enter, change the blend mode to screen and that's it. And the only thing I have to do here is to make a mask, select the black brush and get rid of this woman in the water and just leave all these bubbles. So now we can use all these bubbles from that images to use for our own. So let's make this really big and just do something like this. And just, you can see here that this looks a lot more real than before. Now, I want to make sure you don't see these hard, hard edges here. So I'm just going to brush this a bit here. And now I can just press Ctrl J or Command J make duplicators. And let's do some more bubbles here. Just move these around. And you can see here how fast we adding all these details to make this look really natural because on the water you will see a lot of stuff floating around and especially all these bubbles and stuff like that. So this, let's move this a bit to there. So this is a diver. I need to make sure he has some bubbles like on top of him and not under him because bubbles will go all the way up instead of down. And let's brush a bit away here so we don't ruin his body just like that get all these nice bubbles here and if you want to have more details of the bubbles you can just press ctrl j to duplicate it layer you can see here we get a lot more of these visible so this is really easy to do so try to do this instead of brushes if you're gonna do brushes you're gonna spend a lot of time on brushing a lot of bubbles so this is really easy let's also duplicate this one now we have all these beautiful bubbles. Just make sure you brush away all these little parts like this. This is something I forgot to brush away. Let's see, that's this one. Let's get rid of this part so we don't see where things coming around. All right, this is fine. And now we can, this is also, you can see here, this is where the image ends. So you wanna make sure you don't see that stuff. Just brush these things away to look this, make this look more real. Like that, this is fine. Lighting here, on the water we're gonna see some light going through to make this look more real. So I'm gonna create a new layer, select white as a color, take a normal brush and just first make a dot like this. Then if you press Ctrl Command T to free transform, hold down Ctrl or Command to Mac and stretch one corner away like that. And let's also do this corner. So we're creating this light beam that's coming from there. You can even stretch it out like that. So this is a nice light beam we can use from the sun. And if we make it like a little bit thinner like that, change blend mode to overlay or soft light, whatever you want. I'm gonna do overlay and rotate this. Maybe even thinner like that. Just these little light beams coming from there, from the sun. But this is way too light, so I'm gonna drop this really low. This is a little detail that makes it look more real. Once you got one of these light beams, just press Ctrl J to duplicate it and create another one, rotate it a bit. Let's do another one. 
also rotate it like we have sun there. Let's do another one. So you can just create a couple of these, maybe even one more. And maybe some are lighter than the other one, so I'm just gonna leave one as a double. And let's see if we stretch it out like that, maybe like this, whatever you like. But I like to make them like really thin, something like this. Let's make this bigger. And just a bit from the side. I would like have light beams like going straight down. So just a little bit details like this at the top. All right. Let's create some depth in this image so it doesn't look too flat. So for creating depth, I usually put stuff at the front. So for instance, I could use this. And don't ruin the image with stuff on the front. So I have seen a couple of times that people put it like really over the whole image. Try to do this like somewhere in the corner, not too much, just a bit of it that helps the image look more, more natural and like a real photo instead of a creation. So first thing I would do here is to, this is way too light of course, so let's give it some curves and drop all these highlights because we are underwater, everything's supposed to be dark and also get rid of that really saturated green and let's move this slightly to the right so it gets a bit more blue like that maybe even more all right and next thing i would do here is to just give it a blur so go to filter blur and do some gaussian blur usually i use gaussian blur when i have things on the foreground and lens blur when i blur out things in the background and you need to make sure this looks like natural don't do it like this you can barely see it so pick something like Something like this. It all comes down to training your eye to recognize how it needs to look when it's a real photo. And now I can just move the slide a bit around to have it a bit more like that. So let's just put these here. I think we can even give it a bit more contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another curves layer. And I'm going to bring this down and this one up so we see a bit of these highlights. Like that. This looks better. Maybe even duplicate this if I press Ctrl J. Give it a bit more here. Like that. This looks a lot better to me. Now we have a nice depth. All right, let's do some, let's add some fishes to this. So I'm going to create a new layer and just use this one. I'm usually using this with a black background so I don't have to spend time on cutting them out. So this looks pretty real to me. Let's make them like really small. Don't forget to make a smart object so you don't ruin the quality when you resize this. Let's put some fishes maybe there. Let's do some, some behind them like that. Just duplicate this if you want more. It's a little bit too light so I'm going to drop the opacity of these. And let's do a bit here. This is fine. So right now I'm happy with this composite and the last thing to do is to finalize it. So let's make a new layer on top of everything. And here I wanna sample this color from this top side and make it lighter, almost white. And just make a dot. So we have a bit more light on the top side of this image and now I can change the blend mode to overlay and like make this big, just so I have a bit more light in this image. I feel like it's a bit too dark. Can you also do screen? Maybe this is even better. Let's do screen here. Duplicate this with Ctrl J and drop to opacity. Duplicate it another time and change blend mode to overlay for the colors. So I think this looks fine. Maybe drop this a bit so it doesn't get too bright because we are still on the water and it's need to be darker. All right, now what I'm gonna do is to duplicate all these layers with Command Alt Shift E. So I have a duplicated version of everything. Press right mouse, convert to smart object. And here I'm gonna go to filter, camera roll. And this is like the final step to get everything right. So I have a really good screen for this. I have like a calibrated screen. So for colors, this is like really good. And here I will do some final adjustments. 
Let's see what we can do here. Let's increase the highlights and shadows a bit to the left. Give it a bit more white. Let's make the blacks a little bit darker and a bit more contrast. Like that, let's leave that one. All right, texture. We can drop the texture, so we have a really soft image now, as you can see. And let's increase the, the clarity. If we drop this really loud, this looks really cool because it looks like really soft. Let's see what we can do with dehaze. I like to zoom out this a bit because this is for Instagram, so the whole thing is going to be smaller, so I'm going to do it like this. All right, let's move on. Sharpening, let's give it a bit, a bit of a sharpening. Now we can do some color changes here. The only thing we need to change here is the maybe the green a bit, but I think it's more the aqua and the blues. So here you can set the color that you want for this image. So I still want to have a bit of a green. I feel like is when it's too blue, it doesn't look right. So just going to give it a bit more blue like that and leave it more greenish. So if you want to have like something bluish, you can just change these settings here. This is fine. Let's see if I can adjust this one. Maybe a bit like this. Let's move on, maybe even less. So for this, you really need a normal screen to see this really well. And let's do some lighter, lighter tones here, like that. All right, let's leave that one and let's give it a bit of a vignette. So we have a feeling like we're really underwater. So this is before and this after you can see, we get more focus on them. All right, let's move on to see if we can change the color here a bit more. I'm just using these sliders to see how they change the images. And that's the way I decide how I want this image to look. Let's give it a bit like that. So this is fine. Maybe the blue here, let's see what we can do here. Let's increase the saturation just a little bit like that. All right, I think this is fine. Press OK. And you can see here how this got really better. And now I can just add some curves to give it even more highlights. If you move this one to the left, don't do it too much, just a bit. And this one to the right. And that's pretty much it.